Hey guys, Beast from Beast Toys here. Gonna open up a Han Solo Hoth and a Tauntaun. This is a Black Series Deluxe Pack from the Blue Line. This uh, probably, let's see, this would have been uh, 2014 on it. There you go. Uh, yeah, I know some of you are probably like, oh, don't open that. Uh, well, I got a few extra of these, uh, so I'm gonna open one. Um, I have a actually full case, an open case. Uh, that has this and uh, the Luke and Hot Womp, I believe, in it. Anyway, um, so with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and open the box it in the greatest shape anyway. I don't, man, it's okay. It's not bad, not great, but uh, it's not perfectly meant. But anyway, um, I, I don't have one of these open, so I want to open one. The Han, of course, in the blue coat. Uh, as you know, we're getting a new archive. Uh, Han, or actually he's out to get my opener here. He's out coming out in brown coat in the uh, Lucas 50th archive. So, um, actually got one of those coming. Uh, it'd be here tomorrow or Thursday from Amazon. Fingers crossed that it comes okay. Um, most of the time I have decent luck with Amazon, but not always. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. So something that Hasbro hasn't done much in a while is make uh, any vehicles or bigger uh, pieces. Well, I shouldn't say in a while. They did. Uh, <clears throat> they did recently do a snow speeder, and actually, I will open one of those. I did buy two of those. Uh, caught them both on sale at Amazon, ironically. And so, um, I would like to open one and check one out. But uh, anyway, we're gonna do the Tauntaun and Tauntaun and home. Here he is. His foot's all caught up in there. Woo! That was a chore. I got his foot up there. I didn't want to break his foot. So. lot more uh, a lot more features than the original one I still have my original one around the house somewhere uh, I think my son has it he's probably about done playing with it though but uh, of course the arm movability but a lot of it with the features is your your saddle a little more detail in the face of course Feet, feet move with the hind claw, which is normal for uh, some creatures, uh, some real creatures, obviously. So, yeah, he's cool. Here we got Han. Got the blaster pistol. I'm gonna put that in this, gonna holster that bad boy up. A regular holster here. Gonna holster that up. There we go. It's gonna even, yeah, let's notch, check the old elbows. And, um, me and my arm movability. Oh, you know, that's probably not bad for the age and the, these were made before. Oh yeah, that one moves good. So this part, obviously his hood comes off. Oh, they split it in the back so you could get it off easier. Why, you probably say, well, because he's got goggles. So if I wanna put Han's goggles on, well, I'm gonna have to take his hood off to get his goggles on by any means. There we go, I'm gonna put those suckers on. Well, well, they won't stay very good. There we go. So to figure out the right way to do it. But now the trouble issues can be, I'm gonna put this on, it's probably gonna loosen them up again. Yep, I can see it happening already. So, oh boy. Well, good news, bad news is they'll hang around his neck. And of course he's got the binoculars, which I'm gonna also 
say it will hang around his neck. I'll take that back off. Anyway, well, there he is with the, without his hood on. Put that around his neck and put his hood back on. Of course, these binocular things kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Leg bend to belly. Pretty good. That's about really, well, he, this one's a little loose. This left leg is really how I like it. It's, it's tight enough that it won't move on its own, obviously. And, but you got to put a little pressure to move it, but not stiff. This one just moves pretty easily I think he'll stand fine anyway so the new one um, gonna come out with a brown coat this guy's the blue like the original Kenner line um, one of my least favorite figures growing up uh, definitely play a lot rougher with that one than not but uh, at any rate um, like, like I've said I said in one other video I, I come to appreciate Empire Strikes Back the older I got so I started liking it a lot later on. I was, of course, reeled in by the Ewoks and the, and then of course I'm a, I'm a big Scout Trooper guy. Obviously my favorite figure. So, like those growing up as a kid. So Return of the Jedi was my favorite. You know, growing up as a kid. Anyway, so he's got his uh, his holsters a little loose belt here. Uh, it's attached, but I don't believe it can be unattached unless you tore it or cut it off. Um, coat softer plastic at the bottom uh, flexible kind of like the hood hoods flexible um, but overall I, I, I like this figure I think they did a good job looks like the real deal so let's see if we can mount him up on his tauntaun very easily here's the real tr real trick so we can definitely get his hand I think on the reins pretty easily and like a horse's saddle, he's got some foot pieces. That one got that foot in. Not as easy, but uh, maybe may doable there. It's uh, close. I can probably keep him from falling off, though, at least. If I put him, put his hands, attach his hands to the reins. Oh, well, that ring came off. Well, there's a little attaches to the side of his mouth or his face. I don't know if I can move these horns, that's what I really need to move just to get this back in there good. There we go. Let's try again. Hopefully, I don't pull this thing out. I'm gonna lean him forward a little bit. There we go. So I've got him on the reins. Um, can't quite get this right foot in the. He's kind of. Basically, look like he's standing up riding. But oh well. Uh, I mean, still either way, it's a cool, very neat figure. Neat, uh, neat. Uh, I guess you could call it almost. I don't know. I don't want to use the word vehicle, but very neat deluxe figure. How about that deluxe set? So very neat deluxe set. Here is the Tauntaun and Han Hoth Han. This is a 2014 original blue line. These, I believe, retailed at $49.99. Um, now on the, on the market, you going to cost you about 100 bucks on eBay. So uh, about double the price. That seems to be the norm for most figures is you're going to find that their price is double after uh, some time, depending on how and how available they were. I'm sure some guys got these on clearance. Uh, I did not. But I did get some biker scouts that had target clearance stickers on them so um in, in a lot i bought but then that big lot i bought at one time so and, and i still have them i open one of those actually sometime soon but uh still kind of checking this guy out uh, still rather cool um like what they've done um i'll be able to open and check out my new brown coat version here uh tomorrow or the next day i'll have him so hopefully real, real soon i'll Probably do another one of those. Uh, if I keep this guy close, I'll pull him out, maybe show a little comparison as I do it. But anyway, here they are, Tauntaun and Han from the 2014 Blue Line Deluxe Set. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm Bees from Bees Toys. Have a good one.